Friday, December 13th. Yeah, it's Friday the 13th. Today is a big day today. I'm helping some friends dry corn that I was talking about. And I feel like I'm getting old and lazy, but I got enough stuff on the go trying to help them with corn that I wanted to get some of my equipment cleaned up so I could put away for the winter. And I hired Jenny Mobile Wash. And you can see over there, they're working on the buggy and the combine. And they're doing a good job. So these are the people. Mobile wash, Jenny Mobile Wash. And uh, they do barns, a whole bunch of other stuff. But uh, as I said, I got them in today to do my equipment. And it feels very liberating because they're doing a really good job. And uh, I don't have to do it. I usually do it, don't get me wrong. Just uh, this year with trying to help my friends out late harvest cover all issue and these are the bits and pieces so i think those who haven't watched sandy's channel i think most of you actually watch her more than you watch me but uh if you haven't seen my wife's channel she does a really good job uh sheepishly me i'll put a card in but she did uh, a whole bunch of videos we i think most know lost half of the cover on our coverall uh it'd be almost Two weeks ago now and this is kind of the bits and pieces of what's left that got ripped off and the new covers on but what I'm actually coming over here to show you is my tractor and grain cart see look how clean those are I'm in the way look at that beauty so probably wax them up this winter but look at the buggy like fantastic super clean and it was muddy because uh, as I said we mucked off some fields there so uh, it got dirty and they did a great job look at that that's awesome uh, I'll see if I can get a picture of them cleaning up the combine Looks darn good, doesn't it? I'll give you a walk around. I'm not gonna bug them because their water's flying everywhere. Uh, and they're probably gonna stop for lunch here in about an hour. So they'll have her done by lunchtime and I'll give you a little tour and I'll have to move it out of the way and get some more equipment for the wa for them to wash. They're cranking through it, which is freaking awesome. As you can see, We're making steam again. So I got this thing still just doing the startup process. It's dumped three batches. The first one won't be completely dry, but the rest should be pretty good. And I'm just kind of watching it now to make sure I have it set right. I'll climb inside the bin and get a sample to make sure we're doing a good job. But I think uh, it's drying the way my corn dried. So that's a good sign. So we've unloaded about six sets of wagons, five actually, and the moisture for them seems to be floating right around that, I would say 20, 20 29 to 30. Um, we'll see what this set comes in. My guess is they're still kind of opening up the field a little bit and maybe getting some headlands and other stuff, but it has been quite a range from anywhere from 26 or 27 basically to 31 so the bulk of them are in that 29 and a half so I think I'll kind of set the dryer for 29 and a half and we'll go from there Pretty excited to show you. It uh, 
I've always washed our equipment, or Brett used to when he was working for us, but it would take us like a week to clean up the harvest stuff and some of the tillage. And it's just, a, it's a grind. And sometimes you don't get the nice weather, especially now that we're like December 13th. It can be cold and not real nice to wash outside. So today was kind of a nice day with the sun shining. You can kind of tell it wasn't uh, horribly cold, not a lot of wind. And I didn't get wet or dirty because Jenny washed it for me and that is awesome. But look at that. You can, like it's so bright it's shining right there. That's ridiculous. Look it. So yeah, like I can, look at, we can almost look close enough, we can almost see ourselves. <laughs> I'm so happy. I think I'm happy just because I didn't do it and it's kind of nice, but just an epic job. Look at, look at that. Oh, I could talk about it for days. She looks good. And they washed the heavy off of this tractor for me. They got the joker cleaned up. Now they got it pretty good. That's a tough one to wash. I gotta scrape up the yard a little bit because of mud everywhere and crap that came off the combine. But they got the sprayer washed. Looking good. So yeah, all in all, they washed the tractor and buggy, the tractor and joker, the disc ripper, the loader tractor, the sprayer, the combine, and the corn head. All before 2.30 in the afternoon, and they took a healthy lunch. I'm feeling kind of inadequate as a power washer. But that is awesome. So now we just gotta get stuff put away. Which is fine. We'll figure out we're gonna shove everything. Uh, tonight might just be uh, putting the combine in the shop to dry out a little bit. I usually like to wash it, let it sit and dry out and then run it uh, just slow. Uh, and let everything kind of go just in case there's water that gets in spots. So unlikely there is. So we'll just run it. Uh, Briefly to get it cleaned up, but all in all, super pumped. Just gotta do the equipment Tetris and get everything put away. Well, on the corn drying front, things are going well. I'm gonna find some shade, that's better. You can see it steaming away over there. I'm just waiting for some hot samples to cool down to see if we got it dialed in for moisture. Uh, it's drying a little different this corn than mine did. I, I don't know that or I didn't pay as close enough attention to mine like I should have. But just waiting for it to cool off so I can do a moisture on it and see how we're doing. I feel like I walked like 14 miles today. I'm tired. I got a blister on my heel from my rubber boots again. I got one from deer hunting when I was wearing them. So I am finally going to take a break and hit the house here. I'm going to let the dryer run for three or four more hours. And then I'm going to shut down for the night because uh, they were able to get that field off today. So uh, they're good for now. Uh, so I don't have to dry anymore. This will be the last corn I dry this year unless there's some catastrophe. But uh, I think uh, that's it. Pretty quiet Friday the 13th. So I'll take you out with me when I go shut down the dryer, but I'm gonna eat some food. I gotta eat food, I'm hungry.